Well, November is Diabetes Action Month, a condition that now affects over a quarter of a million Kiwis and growing. Today we are joined in the studio by Heather Berry, the CEO of Diabetes New Zealand, to find out more about this annual campaign and how we can be a part of it. Welcome to the studio, Heather. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Lovely to have you here. Uh, first up, many organisations have an awareness week. Um, we know this almost every week of the year, but Diabetes New Zealand is launching a whole month. Absolutely. Why, why is that? Well, it's a serious condition, mm. and with, um, as you mentioned, there's a quarter of a million with diabetes, but there's about 100,000 out there that haven't even been diagnosed that we estimate to be wow. out there. Wow. Yes, yeah, so it is, uh, it's, it's really important that people get to know what diabetes is about. People don't even understand the difference between type 1 and type 2, mm. and they certainly don't understand what it means, and, and the fact that you actually really need to to um, get diagnosed with it as soon as you can because people don't understand the complications that come from it. You know, if you don't get diagnosed and if you don't get the medication and the support that you need, you can end up with blindness or strokes or um, kidney disease or even lower limb mutations and no mm. one wants that. No, I was no. going to say no one wants that. You've issued a challenge to all New Zealanders in Diabetes Action Month. Tell mm. us what that challenge is. Well, it's act now to live well and that's exactly what it is. So we're saying um, be active, you've got to eat well, and, uh, you know, basically be there to support people with diabetes. You know, diabetes doesn't just affect the person with diabetes, it affects the, it affects the family as well. And uh, they all need support, actually. Mm. Yep. So how would you define live well? <laughs> well, eating well, <laughs> getting 30 minutes exercise every day, watching the, sh uh, the, the food that you eat, trying not to have too much sugar, yeah. trying not to have too... Um, people don't understand that carbohydrates actually becomes sugar. And just, you know, just being aware of what you eat, eating more vegetables. You, half your plate should be vegetables. Mm. A little bit of carbohydrate and a bit of protein. Yeah, so, so basically if you try to swap out your bag of lollies for your hot chips and thinking that you're doing yourself a favour, you're actually not. You're not doing yourself a favour, no. no, no. But then again, that's where um, the stigma is, is, a, is a bit of an issue here for us, and that's what we've, we've discovered with the survey that we've done, is that you will see someone actually eating a bag of sweets that's got type 1. Now, they actually need the sugar rush, because, well, it's not a sugar rush, they need the sugar mm. to offset a medical emergency. And unfortunately, people will say to them, well, look, if you didn't eat so much sugar, you wouldn't have diabetes. And of course, it's not correct. It's not mm true for type 1. So this is for type 2. There's a, there's, there's a lot of understanding that we need to get through and we're going to touch on that stigma in just a minute. On that food issue, I was at the launch of this book the other day, Eat Well, Live Well, which is brilliant, full of great recipes, mm. uh, and you brought up a stat, you, you said that on the 0800 number, the most commonly asked question you get is, what can I eat? Absolutely. Is mm. that, I guess, people's problem with diabetes? They don't understand, do they? No, they don't. And for some, they think it's there's actually diabetic food food out there that they can right. eat, but it's not the case. Um, diabetes, people with diabetes can eat anything. They just have to eat it in moderation and they right. need to balance their diet. So for type ones who are on insulin for life, they have to manage the insulin intake with their mm. carbohydrate intake. So, uh, and it's the same with type two, and, and in fact it's like with anybody, you know, we should all be watching what we eat, yeah. we should all be balancing it, it's eat in moderation. So you mentioned the stigma before attached to it, why is stigma an issue? Well. Uh, what we found with the stigma is that people are isolated, um, they're shamed, and if they're shamed, they won't tell people they've got it, and that's actually very serious for type ones, because if they're, their family would know, obviously, but their workmates and people that they perhaps play sport with don't know. So if they become ill, you know, have a medical emergency mm -hmm. because they're low in sugar, people aren't aware of what's happening. They don't know it's related to um, diabetes. So they don't really know what to do. But if they're informed, they know what to do. How do we as a country, as a family, as a nation, how do we help change that stigma? Just learning, uh, getting to know what it's all about. Uh, you know, eat. Buy the book. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of info in there. A lot yeah. of information great in recipes. there. <laughs> yes, it's not just recipes. It's talking about how to actually um, eat well and live well. So it's all those things and to understand what it means. So, yeah, we need to just... And also to encourage people that if they think someone potentially has diabetes, to encourage them to go to the doctor mm. and to have the test. It's very simple. It's and and share with your family as well. 
Absolutely share with your family. People find hard talking about it with their other family members. Yes, they do. And yeah. that's why this book is um, really important too, because we wanted to have something that the whole family could eat. You know, that's what it's about. Exactly. It's not just about what you eat, it's what everyone can eat. You don't want to make your one special meal if you've got no, a big family, do you? absolutely not. Very enlightening talking to you today. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, now, you give us quite a lot to think about, actually. We mm. are going to be talking more about diabetes this week, so make sure that you stay tuned. And if you want to know more about Diabetes Action Month, just go to diabetes.org.nz. Plus, we have a Diabetes Action Pack to be won, which includes a Fitbit... Haha, <laughs> ha, a Mr. Vintage tote bag, a new Eat Well, Live Well recipe book, equal sweeteners, thermos, and also glasses as well. You can just head to our Facebook page.